So what I think is a new challenge is uh, the invention how to talk to those groups of society who are not on our side, who are not accepting our languages, are not interested in emancipation, and are not interested in the democratic values. Bring it back to the mainstream discussion, why uh, anti-fascism is not in fashion. What is the situation in the field of uh, Polish contemporary art? In the era of populism, uh, art institutions, they are giving certain area where people can uh, go out of this everyday propaganda, everyday um, politics, slogans and so on. So maybe this process which is going on in art institutions, on the art field, is slower, less uh, visible, but it's, it's, it's going on as a certain uh, strong foundation for the uh, resistance which will uh, come soon. It's maybe meaningful that those artists are not the big names, artists we know from the galleries, but they are mostly younger artists or students. They perceive that more like a sort of a everyday task or a mission than the artistic work. People who are engaged beyond art institution or art world structures. What is the position of the Museum of uh, Modern Arts to have a program which is uh, dedicated to this topic? We were trying few uh, projects based on self-criticism. Maybe the one to mention is the exhibition about uh, how artists, artwork betray uh, its own uh, tradition, the tradition of avant-garde. How much art and artists become a part of a uh, ruling class. I've seen the work of art uh, which had this power of uh, foreseeing, <laughs> describing that finally we came to this mature state of mind when uh, history is not a, a toxic poison for us anymore. And this work of art for me was a proof of that, that we are in the new era, that we can uh, think differently and that we are open for the future. And, uh, but that's... Uh, I was wrong. <laughs>